dojo and the martial arts, and especially about Tesla's project called Dojo. I am Hervé Ballot on Planet Tesla. Please support our channel by pressing the like button, subscribing and striking the bell. Let's dive in. If you want to support this channel, click like immediately because the algorithm of YouTube has changed recently. Thank you. Hello everybody. Many of you know that I'm a yoga teacher, but today I'm not going to talk about yoga, but about the dojo and the martial arts, and especially about Tesla's project called Dojo. Tesla's Dojo is one of the fastest supercomputers that will exist on Earth, or maybe that already exists on Earth. Tesla has developed two computer chipsets, one in the car that we've seen before, especially on uh, battery day, and the second which is the mainframe on Tesla's headquarters. The car inference computer processes a model that's been developed on the Dojo system, on the mainframe. And this one, this mainframe, performs 100 neural network tasks and more than 1000 images per second. It's run in real time and it's very complex. This model is a training model that gets downloaded by the car every day on base of the over-the-air OTA update. This is an incremental improvement because every day the driver of the car makes little uh, corrections on the wheel, on the pedals of the car and then the sim improves itself every day. It's a no-way-back system. It improves through this driver's connection on the beta test, of course. Full self-driving beta test that we know is on for the last two weeks now. The car is not learning. It is Dojo that learns and then sends back the model to the car. What is a Dojo? Dojo is a room to practice the martial arts. It's the secret sauce of Tesla. Dojo is the heart of the full self-driving. It's a new supercomputer. It allows a dramatical acceleration of the speed of learning, at least by a factor of 10. What is a dojo? Do means the way, jo the place of the way. That is to say, the training place where to practice. So it's not real time, it's not real working. And what is dojo name? Why do you use this kind of name? Because all the hackers have a kung fu or karate name so that they can be respected by the others and are their pairs. The developers in this case the hackers are Elon Musk and Andre Karpati, the head of the artificial intelligence in Tesla. These chipsets allow to have one of the fastest supercomputers on the Earth. It processes exaflops, that is to say 1000 petaflops. Exaflops mean 10 of the power of 18 operations per second. So if a computer would be only able of processing one calculation per second, it would take the work done but one exaflop equals 32 billion years of a computer that would make just one calculation per second. This is huge. Today, the most powerful computer on Earth is Fugaku in Japan. It processes 450 petaflops, that is to say half an exaflop. So Tesla's Dojo will be twice as fast as the Fugaku. Dojo works on 32 bits. A bit is the length of each byte. The higher the bits, the more precise is the system, but it slows down the system. Fugaku mainframe works on 64 or 128 bits. Tesla works on 32 bits because it gives enough precision for autonomous driving, as opposed to the general artificial intelligence. Autonomous driving requests decision speed. We saw that Tesla developed new chipsets in the car, which is the inference chipset, and into the mainframe. The inference chipset that is in the car works efficiently with the big brother that works in the headquarters, because both chipsets have been developed to work with each other, and it's been designed only to do that. We know that there are other big computers and big other computer 
We know that there are other big computer pro uh, yeah, yeah. We know that there are other big computer system producers. We have Nvidia, we have Google, that makes the Waymo, remember. Then we have Tesla. Tesla's dojo will be built by Samsung. Tesla wanted to cut itself from Nvidia because for the moment it's Nvidia that made all the chipsets for Tesla. And of course, Tesla wants to be vertically integrated, so don't want to be dependent on Nvidia. So this vertical integration necessity led Tesla to develop its own chipset. There are different kinds of systems. CPU, which is the old school, this is a central processor unit. This is the old computer chips. Then we have the GPU, which is graphic processor unit, which is a NVIDIA. Then we have TPV, the tensor processor unit, which is Google with Waymo. Then you have Tesla's NPU, the Neural Processor Unit, that's been designed to machine learning algorithm and predictive models. It's for artificial neural networks like Tesla. This NPU can work on sparse matrices that's been designed to train the driver data. It's very efficient when there's a slight difference between one image and the other, and that's perfect in the autonomous driving because these uh, images don't change dramatically from one portion of time to the other. Today, the GPU time of NVIDIA systems that work in Tesla or that were working in Tesla takes 72 hours to solve one training model for autonomous driving. That is to say three days. It's too long. There are too many data to process. So the point of Elon Musk is to reduce this time by a factor of 10 at least, so that it takes seven hours to train the larger data sets of one training model. Bear in mind that Tesla has 3.4 billion miles, that is to say 4.5 billion kilometers of real data available. We need high velocity systems. This amount, this bunch of data, it's increased every day because every day we see new Teslas around and all Teslas in circulation bring information to the system plus the Teslas that are in beta tests on full self-driving. So the dojo allows to have more data more quickly. It allows to work on the radical rewrite of the software that works on the video 3D at 360 degrees plus the time. So it's a 4D training instead of the 2.5D single frames trading that was uh, working before. Another big advantage of Dojo is that it allows unsupervised learning as opposed to manually labeling the frames. Before, when you have these 2D frames, you had to say, to, to tell the system what it is. Is it a cat? Is it a stop sign? Is it a roundabout or whatever? The shadow mode of the Dojo system and the fact that it works on the base of an NPU, Neural Processor Unit, allows an unsupervised learning of the system. The system recognizes and labels itself the images. The shadow mode allows to um, make a comparison between reality and what the system would have done without the driver. The driver takes over commands or makes a little correction. If necessary, these corrections get recorded and sent back to the dojo. So it's very difficult, guys, to understand how powerful is dojo for self-full driving, especially in the beta system now. It was supposed to arrive in the summer of 21, but it seems that the dojo is already active now because it's the only way to treat the beta data that are arriving to the system. So all the people working and driving on beta tests now on FSD say it's incredible. It changes every day. So we can affirm that um, this dojo is the most important thing Tesla is doing now. So what do you think, guys? Do you think the dojo is already on and we don't have to wait for the summer of 21? Give me your comments below. I read all your comments. This is Hervé Ballot on Planet Tesla and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. But before that, for investment, go to eToro. No commission. Zero. Nada. Zilch. With Copy Trader. Just find a top investor on eToro and hit copy. Find the link here below.